Termites in Orange County are a really big problem, and I'd like to talk about termite treatments. Now, the first thing, I'm going to show this one piece here, and you can see that it's heavily damaged. JT will tell you that a lot of his paint jobs start off like this. They want to paint their house, but of course when it's this badly damaged, it's hard to do, or someone puts up Christmas lights and the staples won't stay in. <laughs> so at that point, people realize they have a problem, and they have a lot of options. Now, if you read the Orange County Register, you'll see full page ads similar to this in there almost every day of the week advertising that you can have your house treated with orange oil or some kind of foam solution and all your problems will go away, you don't have to move out of your house. In some cases that may be true, but let's take a look at this so that when you are out there talking to your friends or neighbors and they discuss this, you'll be able to answer some of their questions and steer them in the right direction. So, let's say, for instance, that we wanted to do a localized treatment on a house. I know it's hard to see from at the back of the room, but in this piece of wood here, we've drilled holes in a diamond pattern with about three inch spacing. And what you do is you take a device like this, you insert the device into the hole, and you pull the trigger and let it set for about 15 seconds per hole. There are limitations to how well that works. First of all, you're going to have to drill a lot of holes all the way around your house. Of course, JT will like that more for him to patch a paint. Make as many holes as you want. That's right. But then you have to ask yourself, how effective is that? Well, in this piece of wood here, I'll demonstrate that. It's just a 2x4. We drill two small holes here. We injected it at 30 pounds of pressure for 30 seconds. Now, for this test purpose, here we added a green dye to the solution so that you can see how far it transfers. So if I inject it into these two holes, hold it for 30 seconds, how far do you think it travels in the wood? Yeah, eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, I don't know. Well, as you can see here, not very far at all, maybe about a quarter of an inch. So just in this one piece of wood, how many holes would you have to drill to get total coverage? Oh, you'd have to just take the wood out. Oh, you'd have to do a lot of holes. <laughs> it would take a lot of effort. So whenever you're going to recommend a treatment, you've got to consider that. Now, I know that a lot of folks are asking about orange oil. How well does that work? Well, orange oil, if you spray it directly on a termite, will kill it immediately. There's no doubt about that. The problem that we have is that the orange oil solution only lasts about two or three days. State studies have proven that after two or three days, termites can return to the same location and start eating again. So rather than do that, if you are going to do a localized treatment, I strongly recommend using a product like Termidor. This, if injected into wood, will last maybe up to two years in an enclosed area. And it also has the bonus of any time a termite is exposed to it, they can bring it back to the colony and eventually kill off the whole colony in sort of a domino effect. So if you're going to do that, that's what I would recommend. Very expensive to do a good treatment like this. Imagine how labor intensive it is to drill holes in every piece of wood in this whole structure. One other point too talking about this structure or a lot of homes, if you'll just look around the room, there isn't that much wood exposed. You can't see it. How could you possibly identify a problem and treat it? Yeah, most houses, 95% of the wood is inaccessible. So there are serious limits to how well it'll work. Another treatment you'll see advertised are foam treatments. They'll say that you can have your home treated with foam and solve all your problems. Well, in this prop here, this is just another 2x4. We applied this foam solution all the way around, big thick globs, looks like shaving cream. Let it set overnight dry. And just to make sure it was super effective, 
because they tell us that it soaks, the wood soaks it up like a sponge. We gave it one more dose and let it sit overnight. We sawed the wood in half. How far do you think it penetrated? No, uh, an inch of an inch. Didn't at all. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't even get, penetrate the skin. Huh? No, it's no thicker than paint. So, if again, if a termite were to land on the outside here, yes, it may die. But if the termites are living in the inside of the core, like in this piece of wood, as you can clearly see, they're not affected. Now, talking about the foam treatments, I'd like to go one step further and demonstrate how they work in a real home. This is a foam solution here. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is just water that I've got in here. That we don't have any active ingredient. This is an empty cup. <laughs> and as you can see, it fills up the cup pretty quickly. Looks like an orange Julius. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, when they're doing foam treatments on homes, what they'll do is they'll drill typically one hole between the studs like this. And the idea is that once you put it in here, it's going to spray all around, coat all the wood. Give it permanent protection. Comes with a two-year warranty. The companies are quote unquote reputable that sell this service. Again, they've got full page ads in the paper, in the phone book, big websites. Right? You'd think that this would be a good option. I'm going to insert this wand in here, and you saw how fast it filled up the cup. Here we are, we're going full blast. I'm going to rotate it around here, and we're really going to soak this thing, right? I don't like water. Let's do it one more time, because I really want to kill all the termites. See, here we are. We're really doing a good job here, taking our time, going all the way around. Okay. Yeah, should be plastered, right? Sure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, there's one wet spot in the center. <laughs> you pull out the insulation. All the wood is dry. There's not one drop of insecticide anywhere touching the wood. <laughs> Would you pay $2,500 or $3,000 to have your entire home done this way? No. Absolutely. People do it every single day of the week. So when you're out there dealing with your friends and neighbors and they discuss this, please remember this demonstration. Now let's be fair about this. If you were going to try to do this correctly, you would have to drill holes here, 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 and here. Get a coat hanger or some other metal rod, pull the insulation back, and then apply it. But then, I want you to imagine trying to do this entire room with that. How many thousands of holes would have to be drilled? That's okay. John Thomas would love it. But even if you did, Again, back to this, even if you did coat it thoroughly, how much good would it really do? The thickness of the skin. <laughs> We're passing that one book around the room. Take a look at that and you'll see some of our work. We strongly recommend fumigations. Here's the basic rule of thumb. If you've got one or two spots in the house where the wood is accessible and we can do a thorough drilling like this, it's accessible on all four sides, and we can inject it. The treatment will probably be pretty effective and it'll help you out, solve your problem. But if we start getting into three or more locations around the structure, or if the wood extends into inaccessible areas such as the ceiling or in a wall that's covered with drywall, at that point, fumigation is your alternative. When we fumigate homes, the big, secret there is to measure it out accurately 
so that you'll administer the proper dosage of fumigant. We seal it up. We also use a monitoring device to verify that the tent was sealed. We can tell you how much gas is still left in the house after the fumigation process has been completed. At that point, you've verified it. You know that it's been affected. And that's why at Termite Terry, we'll give you a two-year money-back guarantee on all our fumigations. If you find a colony of live dry wood termites anywhere within the structure, within two years, we'll come back and refumigate it free, and then we'll write you a check and refund every penny that you paid for the job. That's incredible, isn't it? But if you do it the right way, there's no risk. I look at the gauge before we pull off the circus stand. We've got plenty of gas in there. There's nothing to worry about. It's the guys who cut corners, put in a half a tank of gas, or use an old raggedy trash bag. Again, if, while they're passing the book around, take a look. You'll see how we do it, how we it, monitor it. And you'll also see another bump, couple of nice shots in the back. You have tile roofs. Some of your neighbors are really concerned about tile roofs. You'll see how we put plywood down with foam rubber on it to walk on. And we also wear foam shoes. I can't promise you that we'll keep every tile on your house from breaking, but we try to keep it at a very, very minimal level for you. Any questions? Kathy. How does the gas kill the termites if you don't drill holes? Excellent question. Uh, people ask me that all the time. All right, first of all, a termite is a living insect, right? It has to breathe. Right? So if air goes in there, my gas will go in there as well. That's the logic we go by there. Any other questions? No question, Sheila? But I need to say, I'm so excited about this weekend. I'm going on vacation for the first time in years with my husband because Terry's Jerry's paying the bill. Yeah. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, we're. <laughs> That's right. Anyone that would like to go on vacation, sign up to have your home fumigated this month, and I'll put you in the Costa Mesa Ramada Inn for two nights. There you go. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you.